Hi, I'm Akash Bansal. Today we are going to play a game called Lost in Translation. We are going to play this with four regular people with different backgrounds. As an expert, I'm going to explain this to one person while the other people have no idea about this. This person is going to then talk to the second person. The second person then talks to the third person. The third person talks to the fourth person who will then come back to me and explain to me what he understood blockchain was. In this entire process, we are going to then see how much he retains and how much is actually lost in translation. Hey Parth. Hi Akash, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to explain to you what I understand about blockchain. Let's say you walk to a guy who's selling a piece of apple. You walk to the guy, you pay him 100 rupees for those apples and he gives you that apple in return. So you give him 100 rupees, how much does he get? He gets 100 rupees. Let's say you do that same thing on Amazon. What happens now? So I pay Amazon and then Amazon pays the person who I want to pay. Right? That's correct, right? So that's the basic understanding of mm -hmm. what happens. In reality, what happens is when you pay on Amazon, let's say you use your card, for example, hmm. which might be a Visa card. Visa is going to charge you a processing fee for that. Visa is going to charge your bank and your bank account is going to be deducted. And then that money is going to end up with the seller. By the time the money ends up with the seller on his account, it is almost reduced by about five to six oh. percent. And who pays this? A part of it you pay and a part of it the seller pays. Blockchain is going to help you remove that intermediary and still maintain the trust that he brought in the process. How does it do that? That's the right question. When you go and deposit your money to a bank, right? they take that money from you and they update a database where they show you your balance. Correct. Right? Your balance is really your account now. Hmm. And when you make that transaction, the banks are just changing the entries in that database. Right? right? So what you do with blockchain is you take this database and if a bank is not owning it, who would own it? All of us. Oh, okay. So what you do is you take this database and make a thousand copies of it, maybe a million copies of it. Hmm. Same exact replicas. So and that... you give it to everybody in the world, whoever hmm. wants it. So the only way you can make a change in the entry on that database is you have to change either everybody's entries. or the majority's. An important thing that you must remember Parth, is while we took an example of finance, just mm. to give you an idea of what really blockchain is helping achieve, right? It is mm. taking the intermediaries out of the picture by bringing in a decentralized way. The magic that blockchain brings in, right? The magic portion is it makes all of these hundred people talk in sync. It's really this consensus technique or the algorithm that blockchain uses to make these hundred people agree on one common truth for every single piece of information that's on it, right? Is really the magic of blockchain. So we are going to call, we're going to switch places. Now you're going to be the teacher and there's going to be one new participant in here with you. And you will try to explain to him what you understand about blockchain. How much do you know about this technology called blockchain? I think uh, some technology where uh, you can store all your account related information, transactions, etc. That is the only thing I know about this and all, also that it's related uh, to cryptocurrency and all. Let's say you are a consumer and I'm selling you something. Hello. Hello. If you come down to my store, you say I want this, I'll save this much money. You'll give me the cash and I'll give you the product. Right? You don't pay me any fees, etc. You just pay me what's the, the price basic the bill and that's done, right? But when you go online, you have to pay a certain fee over and above the fare that you would normally pay. Now, this is because uh, there are a lot of people which are called intermediaries who are involved in the process of taking that money from you and giving it to me. So now, how does blockchain work and how does it solve our problem? Blockchain eliminates these intermediaries from any transaction. How does it do that? Rather than there being any intermediaries, what it does is that it sends those ledger those transactions to a lot of people if somebody wants to cheat that they would have to make in mm, all so of those okay. yes or if not all then the majority of it 
right which for them to do is is virtually not possible because we don't really know who anybody is on that ledger because they are always anonymous and that's how this blockchain technology is helping the financial sector to decentralize the whole payments uh, how payments are made the whole mm -hmm. in, whole transactions uh, transaction the whole structure of these transactions and eliminates these fees all right that makes sense to you yeah. now you are going to get a chance to explain this to the next person and all the best Parth just explained to me all about what blockchain technology is. So I'm going to pass that same knowledge to you. I would like to give an example of how we generally in our everyday lives use payment modes online. For example, if you are maybe purchasing uh, something from us from a Amazon or some store online, you need to use any kind of uh, car, credit card and all these online payment modes. Right. While doing the payment, you might be sometimes incurring this additional cost which is called the processing fee true so basically what uh, blockchain technology is doing here is that um, they want to eradicate this particular processing fee one second uh, the if you are present physically there we know we are directly paying to this particular person or say suppose at zara store itself Okay. But while we are buying online, we don't see the person and the face of that person and we do not know who we are directly paying to. Blockchain technology, basically while you're making the payment, if you've applied that uh, technology in your system, when you use it, it uh, directly gives you the amount of the product. And how they work is they make uh, multiple copies of the ledger or the transaction and it is distributed to anonymous, uh, multiple anonymous people. Now, for anyone to tamper with this kind of transaction, they'll have to basically tamper with everyone's information because True. otherwise, in case they do it with just one person, that person will come out to be the odd one out and it will be clear to everyone that there has been some uh, hack in the system. Oh my God, he's a hacker! So then, I'm going to leave you here and you'll have to pass this information to another friend of ours and let's see how good do you do that. Oh no! Hi. Do you know about the blockchain technology? I actually don't know about it. So blockchain technology is ideally a kind of a technology mm -hmm. which is a decentralized, it's kind of a recording information okay. which is non-editable and for example I am just telling it to you like usually what we are just going to go to a shop for purchasing anything. Mm -hmm. So that time we are just using a, a credit card or debit card. So that time there will be some kind of a processing fee in between of 2 rupees, 3 rupees, 10 rupees. So that processing fee with the help of the blockchain technology, it, it will not be processed. We, we have to directly pay the same amount via credit or the debit card to the respective shopkeeper. That means there won't be any third party involved in this Absolutely. transaction. Absolutely. Whatever the intermediators in between. So I'll be okay. giving money to you. <laughs> directly. Not in between like in between whatever the yeah. intermediators are there okay so they will get the information but ideally there will not be any kind of a processing fee that will be charged to an individual customer whoever is going to pay that particular product okay good and at the same time with the help of this technology mm -hmm. there is a much and the uh, good beneficial to individual customers at the same time there will not be any kind of a cheating or any kind of a duplication of thing. Yeah. So that is the another advantages which I want to just explain it to you. So I hope that you like this information and I hope that you understood it very well. I think I got the concept of blockchain. You are going to just forward the information to the next person. So I'm just leaving it to you. Hi. Hi. So I would like to tell you about blockchain technology okay. uh, as I got this information from Sridhar. Sure. Uh, when we use our card, we pay certain amount of fees, right? Mm -hmm. So with help of this technology, we can avoid that. But there are no uh, processing fees or transaction fees. 
and there is a uh, one more use case of uh, blockchain technology if we are doing any transaction the people who are involved in this uh, blockchain technology mm -hmm. they won't get the details of it they will get only uh, details that this product has been purchased from a particular online store or a store but they won't get uh, the information who is doing it who is uh, doing the purchase who's they they i they are <laughs> Carry sorry, on. Go ahead. Sorry, yeah. Is there is there something else I should be knowing? There will be uh, the transaction which we are doing. Uh, there will be multiple copies of that transaction. Okay. Uh, it will uh, go on to the blockchain. Uh, you can say multiple systems. Everybody mm -hmm. will get the information. Mm -hmm. As it is a decentralized thing, means every system has this information part of information that this. Pro particular transaction has been done okay. from that place uh, but it will be a secured because uh, they use some kind of encryption in it okay uh, so the our data is secure our transaction is secure got it okay uh -huh. i think that would be a positive point of it and the transaction fees is not there great so uh, i think i have some information yeah. uh, to share well uh, it turns out i am the expert that started this chain Game over. Were you good or were you okay or were you bad? I think I I was okay. So Somehow. what if I told you yeah. everything that you've just told me, right, is partly wrong. Okay. But I'm going to take some time and explain to not you but all four participants okay. together exactly where you guys went wrong and really what blockchain is all about. I hope you guys had fun. Yeah. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> so while you did put in your best, there were mistakes that were made. Bart, when you started. Uh, you were actually the least strong of all of us, of the other people. So you tried your best to stick to the example that I gave you, which was the whole transactions example. Mm -hmm. right? While you were doing that, you actually got too involved in it and you forgot to talk enough about the technology, right? And how the whole thing works actually, right? And when it reached you, Sachi, what you did is you made it feel almost like the transactions example is literally the only thing that blockchain does. And then when it went further from you to Sridhar, what happened is, you said that the owner of the transaction has control over that transaction, which means he can edit it. That's not true. And then from you, when it reached uh, Sachin here, uh, unfortunately, it was just words yeah. with little meaning on it. Yeah. Right. Uh, so that's great, guys. But you put in a lot of effort. We know that a lot of information was lost in the process. I'm going to now take two minutes to explain to you in my words, in simple sense, with a different example this time, what blockchain is all about. So blockchain, basically, it's a unique way of information storage, which makes that information that we're putting on there universal truth. So how do we make something a universal truth, right? Two simple things. First of all, anytime you think about information storage, you think about a hard drive. Now inside of a hard drive, you store information in files and these files are grouped together as folders. Blockchain will link these folders in a manner that every folder has some information about what files exist in the other folder. Now what that does is, if I change one of the files in one of my folders, all of my other folders are aware that this folder has a changed file, okay. right? So I have, and this is called immutability. What it means is it makes any tampering of any information inside of my hard drive evident to all of the other files or folders inside of my drive. But that's not enough because this is my drive. Hmm. I could change all of my files and I could change all of my folders. So what do you do then, right? You take your hard drive, you take copies of it, and you give it to all of your friends. Now, all of your friends have that same hard drive with that same information. And if I change that one file that I, you know, that I could do on my hard drive, I would have to change it on all of my friends' hard drives mm. to make sure that nobody knows that I made some change, right? And that's called decentralization of information. All right, so now does it make sense to you? Yes. yes. Do you guys realize which areas you were a little wrong? Yeah. yeah. Right. So that I'm sure you guys now have a little understanding about what blockchain is, yeah. right? And as you delve deeper into this space, I'm sure yes. you'll get a lot more clarity. Remember, blockchain is like an iPhone. It's an iPhone. It's the system on which you develop applications. So when you take an iPhone, you put apps on it, right? Yeah. This idea of transactions example is one of the apps on that iPhone. Okay. It's not the entire blockchain like you felt. 
Cool. Thanks a lot, guys. It was a pleasure playing this game with you. To learn directly from the experts and fast forward your career, download the Upgrad app. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.